you do a motion, better known as Johnny. I am the director for Grad Support Services. I am located at 1995 Jerome Avenue. My name is Jeremy Molina, better known as Speed in the Community, and I'm the director for the Bragg West program. Um, the office is 1995 Jerome Avenue, second floor, and I'm also the acting director for the Northwest Bragg program, which is one East Fordham Road on the second floor. On the West program, we serve the community from for East Fordham Road all the way down to Burnside, Grand Concourse to the Jerome. And the Northwest program serves from Fordham Road all the way down to 190, 198th Street from the Grand Concourse to the Jerome as well. My name is Brittany Davis. I'm the director for Bragg North. Uh, we have two locations, one on 825 East 233rd Street on the second floor, and the other location is 3274 Boston Road. And the community that we service is 215 all the way to 227 between Barnes and Paul. North location, we have over two years with no shootings. Um, so we're doing pretty good right now, just trying to tackle those areas outside of the catchment where we have a lot of shootings going on. But for the six months, been pretty quiet. I wish I could say the same for the Northwest <laughs> and the West. Um, the temperature has been hot in the, the recent, in the last recent months. Um, during the, no, normally during the winter, the shootings are, are they're more down than when, when, the, when the weather is warmer. So as the weather is getting warmer, um, more shootings have been occurring. And um, unfortunately for the communities that I serve, um, they have historical beefs. So sometimes when they bump into each other, an unfortunate situation happens. You know? So that, that's been happening a lot more often. So we're just trying to get a grip on that. Well, um, one thing I would say is hiring the right staff, the right individuals, bringing those individuals on board, and um, using them, utilizing them and, and their skills to mediate and to grow and de escalate situations in the community. Just to add to what Jeremy was saying, is also providing resources to the community that, that are needed in order to reduce gun violence. Um, not only the resources, but denouncing it is also important. So anytime in our catchment areas that a violent act with gun violence has happened, we denounce that. We go out there um, and we reach out to community members to make sure that this is a joint effort. It just cannot be on one side from the Bragg team. Mm -hmm. uh, and just to add on, I would say just to continuously give back to our communities. Uh, continuously stay with um stay in contact with those the local stores uh our community partners um let them know if we have to throw a cookout and just get the community involved just let them know that our presence are here and we need them in order to continuously do what we do So in terms of support services, um, there's different resources such as education and vocational services. We have our year-round employment program, so we don't only have our um, anti-gun violence program that runs in the summer, we also have it in the winter. We have some um, outlets such as boxing, studio, an incentivized mentoring therapeutics program. As time goes by, we're noticing that the more participants we're trying to, to service, the more needed resources that we have. It's not only about servicing also those participants, but as well as their collateral. Um, we, we have a, a great relationship with uh, DYCD, the Department of Youth and Community Development, which has tons of resources of no cost, and we make those connections in the world. I think it's, it's about showing up. Um, again, I am a big believer that it takes um, a whole village to, to solve this problem. It just can't be bright. Um, I will say that our family, Good Shepherd Service, they do support us. Um, there's a lot of shooting response where we see other Good Shepherd Service families around um, helping us denounce violence. But continuing that effort as a team and really addressing issues that are happening in our communities from a more realistic standpoint. We can't expect someone to put down the guns if we're going to pay them $7.50 an hour. That's not even enough to buy yourself a proper meal in 2024. So it's, um, everyone plays a role.
we as the Cure Virus team, we will continue to work with community members to connect them to what's needed. We will find something. We will definitely need everyone on board. Um, we're focused on, we're all focused on the same cause, just keeping our community safe and keeping the guns off the street. So. Um, as far as the community, we just need them to come out and support us. Whenever we out there as well, just the, the way we give back, we just need them to join us and give them back. They, they laugh every time I say this, but I say, oh, we can't spell the community without <laughs> you. So annually, we have um, what we call peace barbecues um, in the, within the, the area that we service. Uh, Minds is first. It's on June 15th from Violence Awareness Month. Um, just want all community members just to come out, just know that it's safe, come get a hamburger, hot dog, um, listen to music, bring your chair. You know, it's just it's just one day for relaxation where we all come together to denounce that gun violence and just, just to enjoy the, the peace. I will say just for support services, we always have studio sessions for the community on Tuesdays and um, Saturdays at 3 p.m. Um, in terms of the events that we have in the summer, it's so important that we model to our units how to engage together in a peaceful way, through barbecuing, through picnics, through eating, through just celebrating our borough and our community, showing and modeling that we know how to be at peace.